these days I describing you see the like uh, hygiene of physical now hygiene of emotion is equally important you know okay. so uh, without sort of the proper sort of uh, peace of mind or proper or the mental state too much emotion uh, too much attachment uh, and more attachment there, more anger, more irritation usually <laughs> come. Yeah. So therefore, uh, uh, politicians, also, <laughs> uh, politicians also need some study about ancient years of knowledge, Definitely. how to keep your mind <laughs> so that you see your wisdom, your brain can function normally. normally. Too much emotion. Our sort of uh, intelligence cannot function <coughs> properly. Yeah. Too much emotion, you can't see the reality. Always biased. Always biased. Uh, Definitely. In order to know the reality, our mind should be unbiased. And then look objectively. Then we can see the reality. Too much desire, you can't see. Too much anger, you can't, you can't see like that. So, I think today's world, th there is some kind of sort of problem or crisis about moral principle moral and the emotional problem there, including many leaders of country. Uh, I mean, India, I think only country where all major world tradition live together. <laughs> Occasionally some problem, but otherwise, yeah. I think over a thousand years, yeah. beside the homegrown different spiritual tradition, that is uh, Sanya philosophy, very rich. Then Jain philosophy, very rich. Then Buddhist philosophy, very rich. And then later Sikhism. These are homegrown traditions. <laughs> then from outside, Zorazuddin. Uh, then Judaism, Christianity, and then Muslim all come from outside, but settle here. Very harmonious. So therefore, the uh, India's tradition, I really feel uh, not only ancient knowledge, but very relevant to today's world. So now, in order to share uh, Humanity in general, as a sort of hygiene of emotion and knowledge about emotion and knowledge how to tackle our emotion. That's, I think, humanity need that. I respect all religion, uh, particularly theistic religion like uh, Christian, the Judaism, this wonderful. The Muslim also is wonderful. But since this is their tradition, uh, the everything put on God's hand. Pray, 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 faith, faith, faith. faith. <clears throat> Whereas in this country, hmm, so the concept of Atma, life after life. Hmm. Uh, so they uh, transforming our mind is important. Therefore, uh, the tradition of shamatha, practice of shamatha, practice of vipassana. In Judo Christian tradition, not that. <laughs> Only India. Because, you see, they, we believe life after life and training our mind is very important. So the method training our mind is firstly focusing or analyze, because of the channelized mental, en mental energy. That's shamatha. Then further investigation. What's the reality? So that's vipassana. Huh? So this, I think, uh, I think I can say world treasure. So all this knowledge is a developed within this country. I haven't seen this Mahatma Gandhiji, uh, uh, but you see, he very much impressed. One time in Hassa, I think in 19, perhaps 
19, maybe 1950 or late 40s. One night in my dream, Gandhiji there, I met. Otherwise, I never met. But Pandit Nehru... Only, only once. Hmm? In, 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 in dream. dream. In dream. 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 No, not dream one. <coughs> dream. Dream. Uh, 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 the Jawara Nehru, since 54, uh, we met. Firstly, in Peking. Then, 56, Buddha Janji celebration. Uh, several times. Uh, and, you see, uh, about that issue. I seek a lot of advice, really, realistic, meaningful advice from him. Really wonderful. Then, 59, uh, all as it is, as the matter for Tibetan school, uh, Tibetan settlement, and including these big learning center, all planned during uh, near Nero's time. Uh, Okay, thank you. So, okay, thank you. Thank you.